Hello fellow YouTubers. We're going to do a test today regarding this new asynchronous space warp the Oculus announced in their Oculus Connect 3. I don't know if you, you the screen here, right? I'll show you first. First I've enabled super sampling through the Oculus debug tool. I have it set at per pixels override 1.5. And it give me it's kind of squashes the pixels more, it makes it clearer. It's like super sampling. I wish it was enabled in game settings. I think there's some that use it, like Elite Dangerous and stuff. I haven't tried them games personally. Um, but now on to the asynchronous space warp. Um, as you can see, my FPS here it's about 53 frames a second. Now, anyone that knows VR, you want to hit 90 frames a second and this is like stuttery and it's not nice to play with at all. Now I'm going to leave an annotation in the video somewhere here and I'll leave a link in the description of how to set this up. It's fairly simple, you just copy a few lines of code into a notepad, save it as a registry editor file, double click it and you're away. Use hotkey as control, uh, numpad 1, numpad 2, numpad 3 and numpad 4, they're your hotkeys to enable and disable it. Control, pad, control and number pad 1 leaves it at its standard 90 FPS. If I hit control and number pad 3, you'll see it locks the FPS to 45 FPS. Now, everyone would think 45 FPS in VR, that wouldn't be a good experience. It's insane. It just works perfect. It's where you're running at 90 frames a second. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Reddit post how to do it as well and to go into more detail. But I'm just going to do two laps now with this enabled and give my feedback on it. Head tracking works fine. I think it works in tangent with asynchronous time walk. With only having to hit 45 FPS in the games now, I used to have to run this game, everything on low settings. Now I have it on medium and high, a lot of stuff, and all the sun glare stuff is active. And it looks prettier. And give them a head start. And although like what you see on the screen, you can tell it's running at 45 FPS in the headset, you're convinced it's 90. I can't tell the difference with native 90 and this asynchronous space warp for 45 FPS. To me it feels the same. There is the odd telltale, you can get shimmering on some artifact and it, it's kind of different in every game. I think it really depends on the developer. But it's brilliant. I'm going to test this on a 960 now. And with the new GTX 1050 Ti coming out. If that's anywhere close to a 1060. Or a 960 sorry. Um, yeah I can see the 1050 Ti being VR ready. If we only have to hit 45 FPS in these games. Start this again. When I first tried this game, although completely immersed, I felt it was very pixely. 
and then after looking around the interwebs last night I discovered that you can adjust the uh, pixels on the oculus display through the debug tool and um, you can set it at and from 1 to 2 which will like double the pixel I don't know how they're actually doing it all I can tell you is I've set it to 1.5 now and the difference is vastly noticeable I tried setting it to 2 but uh, my FPS was dropping to like 30s and I needed to hit 45 with this new asynchronous space warp but it's literally like gone from playing at 720p to 1080p just by changing that pixel in the oculus display bug to 1.5 gives me 50% extra pixel dense density as far as I'm aware Whoa. Anyone who has a Oculus Rift Rattan, I highly suggest trying this asynchronous space warp. As far as I know, it's built into the Oculus runtime, and um, but it's disabled by default. So you have to do a few lines of code in Notepad. I'll, as I said, I leave the in the link in, below. There'll be. The Reddit post where I found the details what to do, simply just copy and paste into Notepad and follow the instructions. Amazing. It feels like I'm running at 90 frames a second. I cannot tell the difference. My brother was actually going to say if they get a new graphics card himself, he's running a GTX 960. I actually don't think there's any need now. I think you could run mostly, nearly all VR stuff in, on a 960. That's why I'd be interested. People have said the 1050 Ti, the new one Nvidia announced, won't be VR ready. I can easily see it playing VR titles with this new technology they announced. Not to be confused with asynchronous time warp, this is asynchronous space warp. I think Norman Chan from Tested knows more on the thing, he went into better detail. I just know it's awesome and it works. And with the pixels per display override all the text is much sharper everywhere I can read everything now I don't have the best eyesight but everything is perfectly readable I, uh, if you try and play in the storm conditions in Project Cars, oh man, it hurts the frame rate. Now I can play that if I turn the pixel override back down to one. I prefer, prefer the sharper visual quality. even like car games but this is just amazing
I'd say people are sick if they ever spent thousands of pounds on these three monitor setups. Yeah, you get better fidelity, alright, but we'll get there in VR in the coming years. You actually feel like you're going 200 miles an hour when you have a VR headset on. Jesus, it's hard to see in the night time. Oh. Oh, I can see. really hit the apex in VR. Can we catch him? Don't fuck up now. No shit man, don't make me anxious. He jinxed it now. Come on. Don't slow down. Break late. Ah, fucked up. Ruined it. Asynchronous space warp is amazing, it really is. I hope Fraps has shown on the thing now, but the game's only running at 45 FPS and it's like it's nine it's like 90. It's amazing. Anyone who has a VR headset, highly suggests trying it. <laughs> 